tonight on CBS 11 News. I've done this 20 years. I've never seen anybody pull that loose like that, no. Israel Keys erupts in federal court. Now people are asking, how did he get out of his chain? I think that'd be awesome. Just for them to have a free truck and stuff. No, they can use it and go buy stuff for us. And a local nonprofit that feeds hungry kids is in the running for a new truck. Did it win the drive to victory? This is CBS 11 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Corey Allen Young. Grace Jang has the night off. Well, how did he do it? U.S. Marshals are trying to figure out how Israel Keys managed to get unhooked in federal court yesterday. The 34-year-old man is accused of kidnapping and killing an 18-year-old barista. The U.S. Marshals Service is investigating what appeared to be an escaped attempt. As CBS 11's Bill McAllister reports, they're trying to figure out what happened in a 30-second incident that had Samantha Koenig's friends and family members shouting and crying. It was a hearing scheduled to handle technical matters in the murder case of Samantha Koenig. The prosecution and defense expressed agreement that the case is formally complex, which loosens the requirement that a trial must be held within 70 days of arraignment. As one of the defense attorneys started to respond to the prosecution's push for a trial 10 months from now. The court issued the order in this matter setting today's hearing. Keyes made his move, triggering a struggle that ended with him being tased particular juncture. We're not <laughs> Although Keyes was not handcuffed, he was supposed to have a tight set of leg irons on. How he got out of them remains a mystery. I've done this 20 years. I've never seen anybody pull that loose like that. No. David Long of the U.S. Marshal Service says he does not believe that Keyes could have broken the chain on the leg iron simply through brute strength. But how else could he have done it? Yesterday's incident is under investigation, so we really can't talk about the, the specifics of that, of that incident. It will be up to U.S. District Court Judge Timothy Burgess to decide how Keyes will be restrained from now on. Right now, we, we generally have everyone in leg irons, but it just depends on the, on the judge and it depends on the case. Um, and, and typically you don't have them cuffed at the defense table? Not in front of the judge or the jury, no. Okay. So, yeah, whenever this would get to trial, then that becomes an issue. It becomes an issue, right. And that'll be for the judge to decide how we, how we proceed. It will be a matter of locks and keys. Bill McAllister, CBS 11 News. Now, still no word from the U.S. Attorney's Office on whether Keyes will face an additional charge because of yesterday's episode. Well, a 48-year-old soldat in the mail.